Hello and greetings from Monroe, Michigan. I come to you today from the Monroe Factory Shops, also called the Horizon Outlet Centers. Uh, this outlet mall, about 20 miles, 25 miles south of Detroit, opened in the late 1980s and had lots of big popular outlets for big name retailers at the time, including Nike, Reebok, Gap, Levi's, Old Navy. Uh, people traveled all over from Southeast Michigan, all the Detroit suburbs, as well as Northwest Ohio to shop the discounts. But this outdoor shopping mall fell into decline by the early 2000s as a lot of new outlet centers opened nearby. There was one up in Romulus, one in Canton. And uh, today it is essentially dead as a shopping outlet. But there is a new industry which has moved into this well-placed but dead outlet mall. And we'll be talking about that later in the video. But you definitely need something to attract people here because the dilapidated buildings and empty parking lot are not quite enough on their own. Believe it or not. It looks like even the electrical has been removed from this building. Used to be a KB Toys here. Do they even exist anywhere or are they all gone? I think they may all be gone. I haven't seen one in a long time. Nature enthusiasts may be attracted to this area for its small, stagnant swamp. It has everything going for it. It's small, it's stagnant, it's full of algae. No takers, huh? Perhaps a little more scenic bit of swamp over here at this end of the outlet malls. This is one of the newer additions that was built before the whole thing went under. It too is empty, as we will see in just a moment. All right, we'll cross this bridge here and uh, check out the new side. Not a lot to see inside the old stores here. At least the ones on this side are not boarded up so we can still look inside them, which is a little more interesting. Or not. You can see back there just a little bit, but there's not much to see. Not sure what shop used to be in here. Lots of storefronts for lease around here, that's for sure. I was excited for a minute because it looked like maybe the store was unlocked, but it is not. It's just kind of buckled open. But you can see inside. Definitely not a lot of people here for the convention center or the abandoned stores, which do have four lease signs on them. I bet you could get a really good deal. This door looks like it might be open, so I'm gonna see if I can't peek inside. Ooh, exciting and empty. Not much to see here. But still fun that we got to look inside. Forbidden room. It's a sign of the times, the broken windows and plywooded up glass that line this once busy walkway. You can tell from the uh, colors that it had been redecorated somewhere since the 80s. My guess would be from this color scheme, maybe mid 90s was the last time it was updated. Though there has been an attempt at landscaping, I don't know how official this attempt was. Possibly 
just someone really hates trees. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on here, but it's kind of unpleasant. A more pleasant sight. Some local romance. Will you go to prom with me? And the lovely lady tagged yes. Romance is in the works here in Monroe, Michigan. Not sure what a lot of these shops used to be. I'm wondering if maybe this was a dentist's office. Probably not. It'd be funny though. You can see the uh, Interstate 75 right behind me there. And uh, what used to be a tourist information and restrooms neither of which, I can confirm, are still present, sadly. Nor is the informational kiosk. There's a now leasing sign, which uh, seems to be an act of eternal optimism, in my opinion. And uh, here, this used to be Motor City Fireworks, which says they have moved to the front. However, I will confirm I have seen no evidence that they, in fact, completed that move or survived. Now this exit is exit 11, which means we're only 11 miles north of the Ohio line. So businesses like fireworks stores made sense because you'd get people to cross the line to purchase things they could not purchase back in Ohio or Indiana, which isn't very far from here either. But as I alluded to earlier, there is another industry available in Michigan, not available in Ohio, which has come to take over in this area. All right, let's drive in here and take a look. Boy, I think if there was a uh, award for the most unkempt parking lot in Michigan, this place would be a strong contender. Trying to avoid some of these potholes that might swallow my car up completely. Easier said than done. There does seem to be some signs of rebirth in this old outlet mall. A new industry which has taken hold here in Michigan and is not yet legal in Ohio, which for demonetization reasons I will not mention, but I will show you and you can read what it is I'm talking about. There is one in what is appropriately enough a former Taco Bell, and across the street there are two others. And at the far end of the mall we were just at, the giant retail location here. Well, I can definitely say that this old outlet mall has gone to pot. There's a new one coming in here. And past some other similar such businesses, we come across the former River Raisin Event Center. Let's take a look and see what's still inside. Well, unsurprisingly, not an awful lot. Let's see the other doors. A little clearer view of an empty room, which may remain empty forever or may turn into something else. Only time can tell. All in all, there's 10 or 12 of these stores just on this one exit. And obviously it is a thriving business and will probably remain so until neighboring Ohio and maybe Indiana decides to uh, add recreational themselves. And then I don't know that these businesses have a chance of surviving without Ohioans coming up here with their money. So this might be a short-lived renaissance where uh, they come in for a while and then when Ohio changes its laws, they uh, disappear once again leaving this once proud outlet mall to its fate once again and perhaps to be reclaimed by the swamp.
am getting a little peck here. Let's uh, see what we can get. Yeah, I'd like to get a uh, number five meal, please, and a uh, large frosty and uh, a crunch wrap supreme. And if you can throw some Szechuan sauce in, that would be great. Yeah, it looks like the cook forgot to show up to work today. And uh, yeah, so did the cleanup crew. This place could probably use a little work. You know an area is in decline when the golden arches have even been removed from the sign. This is the play place. You can still see the floor mat with the rubberized stuff for the kids to jump on. And a fun under the sea theme. Would have been neat to see what this place looked like before, so I could have done a nice before and after. Bit lots of hamburger eating, shake slurping kids had a good time in this room once upon a time. But no more, as you see from the sign. They are now closed. Here's a view from the drive-in window side, where you can look inside at the kitchen. There's the counter and the uh, dining area. And back here, the cleaning and meal prep area. And another view of the dining room from over here. You can definitely tell from the many vehicles over on the far side of the parking lot that despite or because of the fact that this mall has really gone to pot, there still is a little bit of life here for now. Thanks for joining me, and I always appreciate you guys watching.